G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, it's chilly in Adelaide this morning, four degrees. But I've got the heater going in the workshop. A V or diesel heater, it does a good job. And that'll keep things nice and cosy. So I can push on with this project that I was working on in the last video, which was this cylinder, which was machined from a really ugly, ugly, ugly casting I did in a hurry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so far so good. Now I've got to machine this shape into a cone. So that basically is the small end, that'll be the bottom end. That's the small end, that's 75 mil. And up around here, it'll go out to 85 mil. I've got to check the, the depth. Now to mount this, I'm going to mount it on the Shoreblin because it's got a much longer top slide. And that's a toolmaker's lathe. That's why you have toolmaker's lathes. They're good for this sort of work because they've got a very long top slide and you can machine tapers and stuff with them, which you would find very difficult to do on a regular lathe. Plus they've got other advantages. You can see the bottom's not very good. That'll be all be machined away anyway. So now I've got to mount it. And to do that I'll use the four jaw chuck on the Shulman. And I've never mounted anything this big on the Shulman before, so I may have to mount it internally with the jaws rather than externally. I'll see what we can do, so anyway, I'll get it set up and uh, we'll come back. All right, moving on. That will do. These are good little, good little indicators. These they're nice and compact. I very rarely use my full size mag base. These are a lot, a lot better. And uh, yeah, you can get into tight spots with them. Well worth the money, and not very expensive.
Hmm, that's about as good as I can get it. I'll uh, put a bit of tape over that. Well, the parting off's a bit much for the short one. Uh, yeah, I'll take this out and I'll put it on the Chinese lathe and we'll, we'll part it off on there. It's got about my three bits bogging down, so the flat belts don't grip as well as the V-belts, so it starts to slip. So. Yep, moving on. thickness there which is good that's going to be handy for what I want to do with it mm, that looks pretty good so I'm going to run a bit of tape over it next well that's it I've knocked off for the day it's getting pretty late I've uh, polished up the little bit of tape over this it turned out pretty good, not too bad. I'll give it a coat of black enamel later. But the next part of the job is going to be radially drilling the end. Four positions, I think, for three or four mil metric bolts. And they will hold a mounting plate on this. This is the top and this is the bottom. And the mounting plate will hold something else. And yeah, this is an, I think it's an original idea. So we'll see uh, how it all shapes up. I'm expecting it to be okay. And uh, well, that's it for now. That's the, the toolmaker's lathe has done its job. I thought you'd like to have a bit of a look at it. And yeah, these old girls there. Uh, they're nice to have for sure, and they're very, very handy. Okay, to be continued. So I'll see you next time. Cheers.